in the small courtyard of the ILAS, which is short for the Institute of Laboratory Animal Sciences, scientific researchers are commemorating the dead. But they are not commemorating the lives of people lost during the pandemic, but rather the animals who gave their lives in the cause of vaccine development. These little animals who made sacrifices for human health are worthy of being appreciated and remembered by us forever. But the sad fact remains that animal testing is still one of the cornerstones of vaccine development. Every vaccine under development must go through screening and evaluation so that the scientists can be sure about the antigen that triggers an immune response. Such tests may last for years. Common animal subjects for testing include rats and mice and other animals that reproduce quickly and form stable populations. This makes it easier for them to be sampled in experiments. But there's something else that's needed in order to create animal models for vaccines – live viruses. These were in extremely short supply in labs during the early phase of the COVID-19 pandemic. So, as soon as the IVDC managed to isolate the suitable strains of virus, they began to share them with affiliated research institutes. Thanks to the timely delivery of the strains of virus, the stage was set to begin animal experiments at ILAS. The task Qinchuan's team at the ILAS was twofold, to monitor the clinical responses of animals and assess the efficacy and safety of COVID-19 vaccines in animals. In the P3 lab at the ILAS, scientists turn to laboratory animals in their quest for answers. As it happened, Chinchuan's team had achieved a breakthrough of major significance in the SARS-CoV outbreak 17 years earlier the transgenic mouse. Since the ACE2 gene in mice is different from that of humans, they cannot be directly infected with the coronavirus. The only reliable way to make them into viable subjects for experimentation was to make them more similar to humans. Microscopy was key to this process. Using a glass needle of 0.1 to 0.5 microns for microinjection, Researchers directly injected exogenous human genes into mouse embryos to create a generation of rats and mice that could be infected with the coronavirus. It was largely thanks to the groundwork done by Chinchuan's team almost two decades earlier that, when the time came to develop the COVID-19 vaccine, the experimental cycle of pre-clinical animal testing could be shortened from one or two years to just a few months. Chinchuan The team, led by Chinchuan, completed the evaluation of 80% of the COVID-19 vaccines deployed by the nation, including the first COVID-19 vaccine entering clinical trial in the world, the first COVID-19 vaccine approved for emergency use, and the first market-ready COVID-19 vaccine. 
The team originated the technical system of the protective effect evaluation of the COVID-19 vaccine on animal models and releasing it to the world through the journals Nature and Science 